I'm gonna walk you through our creative color grading pack called Vintage Brooklyn. We've created a bunch of 3D LUT profiles that are inspired by the boho fashion styles coming out of the East Coast in the 1970s. This relies heavily on split tones. We're doing a wide variety of those. We're preserving warm skin tones and we're really going for that fashion feel. So the first image doesn't have a whole lot going on color-wise. The other one does, but I'm gonna show you how these looks can be used successfully in both cases. I'm gonna open my first image here in Adobe Camera Raw. This is balanced pretty well, maybe a little bright. It's good enough. I'm gonna go directly in and start exploring these profiles. Now you can see I've got my base Adobe Color version favorited here. Your browser is probably gonna look a little bit different from mine because I've got it simplified for this demo. Glendale, right off the bat, is giving me good results. I'm gonna go quickly through to Brownsville, pushing some muted orange hues through all the quarters. Williamsburg cracks it open a bit more. Flatbush is doing some nice stuff. Cypress Hills, a little grain. Crown Heights, back into that rosy zone. Red Hook, bright yellow. Bushwick, even brighter yellow. Greenpoint and Kensington. I was immediately inspired by Glendale. I'm going back there. So it's really bringing a lot of richness to the darker tones here. And in doing so, I think it's, it's shifting them a little bit more purple, which is giving a really good foil to all the golden stuff that's going on in here. It's adding some contrast. It's making this material look more shiny, which I like. And also look at her face. It's reducing that red hue in her lips in a way that I really like and it's increasing that smokiness around her eyes. And I think the hair is even getting more luster with this move and plugging up the blacks in her headdress up there. I really like this look and this is not overstated to me. This is not over the top. In fact, I'd actually like to amp it up a bit. And this is the beauty of this amount slider here. Normally you'll see people using it to reduce the look a bit, but in this case, we can see what it looks like if we amp it up even more. I'm gonna drag that up and really crank up the volume on this already really cool look. That's awesome. The only thing that I don't like here is that I'm losing some of the shape in the tones of the face and I can really easily fix that because I'm working in the camera raw space and I've got a bunch of information that I can't see there but it's there in the raw and I can retrieve it. I'm gonna bring those highlights down, bring that shape back in the face. I love the way this looks. I can click OK and move on to the next image. The next image I'm working on is completely different. The exposure is different, the color is different, and what's awesome is that these looks work on an image like this too. And I'm gonna show you the differences and how you can make them really come off. So I can immediately start cruising through and seeing how differently this pack affects an image that has so much going on color-wise. It's really lush already, so we're getting big hue transformations. That's awesome. Bushwick really just takes that green, turns it to gold, mutes the couch, homogenizes all the hues in the couch. That's gold and kind of burnt umber. Her skin's getting hit too, but you know what? I think that's really cool. It's, it's existing in that golden world. This lamp is amazing now. It's turned these base elements to purple, created a really strong complementary situation. Let's just check the last two. Wow. Greenpoint takes it all the way back into the greens. Kensington, also cool. But I really like Bushwick. This is awesome. It may be running a little hot, so I'm just going to reduce the amount down here. That's a judicious amount of gold being pumped into the green. And I'm ready to take this image back into Photoshop and start doing my pixel manipulations. I'm clearly going to clean the seam off the background, but in terms of color, this thing's done. So that's something that I love about this look, Vintage Brooklyn, is that it's able to work successfully on two very different images. I had one that was pretty simple, and I had one that was really complex, and I was able to get a great look out of both. That's a look at Vintage Brooklyn using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. Can't wait to see what you do with it.